Ask not for we are be can do for you. Ask what you can do for we all be. And I just want to ask you one quick question because your background in show business and entertainment. And this one question people have been wanting me to ask you. They've been you know, on my Facebook and tell me, uh, do you believe that there's a such thing as a homosexual agenda in Hollywood or entertainment with the media? Yes, sir. Right? I ask you to do this. Go to the LGBT website and look at what they say. Okay. They claim, by the way, that 85 to 90 percent of the people that are employed in Hollywood, whether executives, directors, writers, actors, uh, ordinary people around the set, are LGBT. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't care which kind closed doors. That's your business. But the bottom line is, is yes, they've been using the media to advance an agenda. And I suppose they're taking advantage of the position they have. But if you want to find out what it is, go to the LGBT site, uh, LGBT site, that's lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and I think it's transgender or transsexual. Mm-hmm. And they went in there. First Amendment stuff, but just go look and see what they say so you don't have to rely on me. Yes, sir. Now, I found an interesting thing that for the first half of my career out there, 15 years, mm-hmm. I had to fight almost every day on until I wound up prevailing and becoming so highly rated, either the number one or number two daytime syndicated show, mm-hmm. when I didn't have to worry about it. They always wanted me to slant what I did to appeal to this, that, or other demographic. Now, the one they were most interested in was 18 to 24. Mm-hmm. There was another one, 25 to 34, and then 35, 25 to 34, and then another one, 35 to 44, 45 to 64, and then 65 and above. The lowest consuming group in that was 18 to 24. And that was the one they were trying to appeal to. Why? Since it's all about commercial television and letting sponsors know where to wisely spend their advertising dollars. That was because they had the insulting theory that women are stupid. Literally, that's what they said. And they were trying to get women between 18 and 24, to develop brand loyalty. And if they did, they would never change that for the rest of their lives. Mm. Well, that was in the days of Jim Cleaver and the housewife thing. It doesn't exist anymore, really. But they used the same theory to try and inculcate the population on some ideas. Like in California right now, it is the law that if any child from kindergarten through 12th grade decides that he or his parents decide that he or she wants to be the opposite gender, they have to be allowed to use the opposite sex as restrooms. If somebody of the opposite sex doesn't like it, then they have to find another one, and I guess that's in force. Show me yours, I'll show you mine. Mm. But that's what happens. The other thing they have out there is they have to have a sensitivity session starting in the third grade in all classes, uh, a number of hours per week all the way to the 12th grade. I wish they'd had that about being nice to black folk, <laughs> you know, or maybe nice to Native Americans, or nice to Hispanics, nice to Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, Cambodians, Vietnamese, Filipinos. I wish they'd had that. Mm-hmm. Puerto Ricans, the Ricans, to Argentines, to Venezuelans, to Peruvians, <laughs> to Mexicanos, I wish they had that, but they didn't. Mm. Now, they're right to do it, but that is a fact of life. And I'll say no more other than to say that I think they've got a right to do whatever they want to do. But sometimes I'll disagree with certain things, just like I don't think young brothers need to be running around sag, bagged, and dragged because that's not the way to get away ahead in the world. But there's that. Yeah, I know so, your, your, 
your campaign slogan is promoting manhood and protecting womanhood. So I just knew you was a person who had yeah. an opinion on that topic in, in particular. Okay. I want to ask you one more thing. I think it's so important because people get this all the time. I want to know, is there, is there a such thing in your opinion as uh, Illuminati? That people are always talking about, well, so-and-so is a part of a secret society, some of these celebrities. They make a pact with the devil or whatever they do. Do you feel there's a such thing as Illuminati, a secret organization? Well, let's put it this way. Mm-hmm. I know since I am, and it has nothing to do with the Masons. <laughs> 